Hey guys, welcome back to Crab Central Station. In this video, we're going to teach you how to acclimate your new pet hermit crabs to their new tank. Let's get started. Okay, so in this video, we're going to teach you guys about something called PPS, which stands for Post Purchase Stress. So unfortunately, your hermit crabs were taken from the wild and um, taken out of their natural shell, forced out of their natural shell, into these painted shells, which are super cute. However, the paint is toxic and the process of getting the hermit crab out of their natural shell to go into this is horrific. Uh, then they are thrown into burlap sacks with no water, no food, no regulation to humidity um, or temperature. And so they arrive at the beach shop or at the pet store really under a lot of stress. Um, and so the PBS method was created by uh, Sue Littell alongside of Crab Street Journal. And they developed a process of slowly acclimating your hermit crab to the correct conditions, which will allow them to thrive and live for a very long time rather than having a sudden shock to their system um, and then passing away from PPS. So if this is your first tank and your first set of hermit crabs, you can use the PPS method in their forever tank. If you're adding to your colony, then you're going to need to set up a separate tank, an ISO tank, um, for your PPS method. So here's a list of supplies that you're gonna need in order to do this. Okay, let's get started setting up our PPS ISO tank. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to start with is some dry play sand. You can get this at your um, local Home Depot. I buy this from Home Depot. Or Lowe's, it's pretty inexpensive, about $5 for a 50 pound bag. And I know you have seen in our videos that we say you need six to 12 inches of substrate, but in your PPS tank, you only want a half to one inch of sand. We are really trying to discourage digging and burying during our PPS method. Now that we've put our half inch to an inch of sand in our tank, we're going to just sprinkle Eco Earth over the top, not a whole lot. The idea behind the Eco Earth in this ISO tank is to help hold the humidity over time, a 30 day period. And then on top of that, we are going to put just a little bit of sphagnum moss that has been moistened or dampened, um, again, to help hold that humidity in their tank. And they'll also eat it, which is good for them. So next we're going to put in our two water pools. Remember that you want your pool to be deep enough for your largest crab to fully submerge themselves. So we're just gonna use some Tupperware containers. Remember that you need to use Instant Ocean for your saltwater pool and the instructions on mixing that is on the box. Your fresh water and salt water both need to be primed so that it can get rid of all of those harmful chemicals. You will need to create a way to get in and out safely. This is just common craft mesh that you can find at Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, and I just cut it into two strips that were wide enough for my largest crab to easily climb on. And you will just simply place it in your water pool um, with some rocks or shells or something like that to weigh it down on the inside, and then the outside will go into the sand and you'll have a safe way. You can use plants as well to help them get in and out of their pools safely. All right, so now you can add a little bit of fun decor to your tank. We do not want anything that they can hide in. So no cocoa huts or hidey huts or anything like that. We're trying to encourage them to eat a lot and drink a lot, and we want to be able to monitor that during these 30 days. So remember in the supply list, we said that you needed a under the tank heater. We don't want to put it under the tank because instead we want to heat the air. In order to get the correct heat, you're going to attach a heat mat thermostat to that mat that I just showed you. And we love these ones right here. We'll put a link to it in the description below. We have these on all of our tanks and they work great. The purpose of this is so you can um, increase the heat in the tank 
or small increments um, over this 30 day period. Also, you will need a lid for your ISO tank, something like this, so that we can keep that heat and humidity inside the tank. And you'll have to have a light for your tank. This is for a 12 hour day and 12 hour night, which is important to that metabolic process that your hermit crabs need to be having to process the food that you're eating them. And then um, finally, you're gonna need a gauge and this will be placed in the center of the tank to monitor the heat and the humidity um, as you increase those increments over the next 30 days going through this PPS method. So now we're going to talk about probably one of the most important parts of the PPS method, and that is the feeding. We need to get your hermit crab's nutrition back to where it's supposed to be before they go down and molt. Remember, molting takes a lot of time and a lot of stress on crabs, and so they store up nutrients in their molt sac. So it's really important that we give them a lot of choices and really get them excited about eating so they can store up the nutrients they need to make it through their molt. Most PPS deaths are related to a lack of nutrition. So this is the single most important thing that you could do for your new pet. Now we have in front of you a few staples that you could offer in the tank at all times. And that is green sand, worm castings, spranula, and some leaves. These things can just remain in the tank. Crabs will love these things. They're great sources of nutrients. All right, so in addition to these staples that you're gonna keep in your tank, you're also going to want to introduce all the other food groups to your hermit crabs. Head over and watch our nutritional guide. Also, keep in mind that you do not want to feed the same food in the same seven day period. So if you offer them eggs on Monday, you don't wanna offer them eggs again until seven days later. During this 30 day period, you're going to really monitor the heat and the humidity in the tank. We want to increase this slowly over the 30 days to help your hermit crab acclimate to the proper conditions. With the thermostat, you can program the temperature that you want. The probe hangs inside of the tank, about four inches off the sub, as close to the middle as you can get it. And that will read what the tank heat is and then adjust it automatically for you. Your humidity, you will be able to increase over time through um, wetting the moss that you placed in the tank, as well as the Eco Earth holds that moisture and helps to keep the humidity in your tank with your lid as well. So you want to start out with your heat and humidity as close as possible to the beach shop or the pet store where you got your hermit crab. Maybe you didn't notice what the conditions were. I understand, we didn't either. So in that case, go ahead and start your heat at anywhere between 70 and 72 degrees and your humidity at 70. And we will slowly increase those over the 30 day period. So now that we have our tank set and ready for the PPS method, we need to actually talk about what that method is. There are four different stages in this 30 day period um, of PPS. So stage one is probably the most important. You just brought your hermit crab home. He's been under a lot of stress, a lot of changing, horrible conditions. So this is the time period where you really want to monitor and make sure that your hermit crab is eating. Offer those, all those food groups in small portions every day, changing them out and watching to make sure that he's eating and then drinking as well. If your hermit crab is doing that, go ahead and move to stage two. If not, you'll need to repeat stage one for another week. All right, so you're ready to move on to stage two. You're gonna keep everything the same that you had in stage one, except for the heat and humidity. You want to increase those two things by two degrees. Use your thermostat for your heat and you can moisten the moss or even add additional moss if necessary to increase your humidity. If your humidity gets too high, go ahead and prop the lid and crack it just a little bit to let some of that humid air out. Again, you're going to monitor your hermit crabs to make sure that they are eating. Continue offering that food every day in small amounts, changing it up in all the food groups. If your hermit crabs are not eating and their behavior is very lethargic, then you want to repeat stage two for another week. 
Okay, moving on to stage three. So again, keeping everything like you have been, you're going to increase heat and humidity to more degrees. And monitor your hermit crabs, make sure they're eating, make sure they're moving around, they're not lethargic. Again, if they are not eating or they are lethargic, then you're going to repeat stage three for another week. All right, so there's a chance during these first few stages that your crab may surface molt just due to stress. If that happens and you have more than one crab in here, you can use a two liter Coke bottle, rinse it out with prime safe water, cut off the bottom part of the Coke bottle so it creates like a dome, unscrew the top so that air can get in and place that bottle over your surface molting crab. That will keep him safe from any other crabs that happen to be in here going through the PPS method with him. Of course, if you only have one crab in here and he surface molts, that's okay. You don't need to put the soda bottle over him because there's no danger to him from other crabs in the tank. All right, it's really exciting. You've reached stage four. It's been a long process. You've been patient. You've been monitoring your hermit crab. Um, he's eating well, he's rehydrating, he's doing hermit crab things in the tank, active at night, exploring his tank, and so it looks like he's ready for his first molt. That's exactly what we want. So what you'll need to do is go and visit our basic hermit crab care video, and that will tell you how to get this tank up to standards so that your hermit crab can get through his first molt and be thriving and living with you for many years to come. We've had several crabs die within the first year due to PPS. This method has been a lifesaver, literally. Um, we hope that we've helped you in your Hermie journey and that you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and check us out on our social media. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.